This video is part of the Aruba Central iOS CX switching demos, and this is demo number two, Central Dashboard Overview. Welcome to this Central Dashboard Overview demo. My name is Stephen Bartlett. I am a technical marketing engineer uh, supporting Aruba CX switching, and Central can now manage Aruba CX devices. It has been doing this for some time. Along with iOS switches, access points, gateways, and Central's orchestration capabilities for SD-WAN and dynamic segmentation. So if you are very new to Central and are wondering how to navigate around the dashboard to manage wired devices, this short video is for you. It will give you an overview of the Central dashboard and demonstrate how easy it is to navigate and manage Aruba CX devices. So let's start. The central dashboard has some key components of global, manage, analyze, and maintain. And of course, I'm not going to go through every item within these categories, but just show, show you some of the most common components. So as you can see on the right here, we have a map highlighting specific locations. And we'll come back to this in a moment, but we're, first of all, we're going to start with central groups. So groups, groups in Aruba Central is the primary configuration element that functions as a container for device management, monitoring and maintenance. So groups enable administrators to manage devices efficiently by either using a UI, a user interface based configuration workflow or a CLI based configuration template. Now there is a separate demo on using templates. So do have a good look at that for more information. So when I look at how we get to groups, if I click on global, now global, you can't actually configure anything in global, but it's a quick way to navigate into groups. So if I click on it, you'll see we've got groups, sites, and label. So I could either click groups here, or I could go to organization here. So I'll just click it here actually. And you can see if I click groups, we've got a group called Edge Switches, and I've got two switches in Ed Edge Switches. Let's have a look, have a quick look where they are. If I go back to organization again, or I navigate from this tab, I can just go back to this theme here. You can see the groups I've got. I've also got two sites, and I've got two labels. Now within the sites, I've got two devices that I've allocated to one for each site. And within those sites, I've allocated some labels. So I'll have a good look at sites, labels later. But for now, let's have a quick look at groups. And you can see that we've got edge switches here, call to, and if we were onboarding devices and they were unprovisioned, they would be actually popping up in this tab here, unprovisioned devices. So within this group, we've got two devices, switch one and switch two. And you can see as we move along, you can see the serial numbers and MAC addresses. And within this tab here, if I wanted to create another group, I just click on this icon and I'll get this wizard to work through to create a group. Or alternatively, if I wanted to move these devices from one group to another, it's very easy. I select the device or the number of devices that I want to move. And then I click this little icon down here, move devices. Again, I get a pop-up window that then I can work through that workflow. Before we leave the subject of groups, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about template groups. So Edge Switches is a UI group, which means that if we wanted to configure our edge switches in this group, we go through the user interface or use multi edits in the relevant uh, presentation in Central. A template group means that if we've got a template group and we add a switch to that group, it will inherit only the configuration that's in configured or defined in the template. So let's have a quick look at that to see how that actually works. So I'm going to add a group and we'll create this group as a template group. So let's slide this wheel over to the left because I've got some specific settings I want to make. And I'll select switches. And this is the option to make the group a template. We just slide this setting over to the right. I'm going to call it 
dev and oops let's try spelling that correctly and select next and I'm going to use iOS 6 only select add and that's our group created and you'll see the difference in the list as it comes up here we are so we've got a switches is a UI group and dev is a template group and you see straight away it's got a pre prefix of TG so we can distinguish it between the other UI groups so this hasn't got a template allocated to it so let's look at the configuration wizard to see how we can set one up and you'll see how easy it is to do so I'll select the config wheel and go to config for that group and you can see there's no template there so I'm going to add a template and it's very easy to do we obviously give it a name I'm going to call it dev for ease and the device type is CX we get the version that we want to have it and this template can support all CX versions or you can specify the model that goes into that particular group so we're going to have all models that are supported in central so I'm going to select next and this is our template presentation configuration so we can import a configuration and we can or we can in cut and paste a configuration into this particular box here to make our template and there's this concept of variables as well for common configurations across all switches like NTP DNS etc but as there is a separate demo for template groups we're going to leave it at that and that's just a very quick overview of what a template group looks like so what I'll do is I'll just go back to groups and I'll just delete this group and if we reference groups again in the presentation walk around of central it will be a UI group so I'm just gonna select that and delete it so do look out for that other demo it's very very interesting and will give you some great insights on template groups so let's move on to sites before we do that just remember where we are edge switches is our group and we're in the maintain tab underneath organization and i can get to the main tile menu for groups sites and labels if i just click on that here we are and you can see there's two sites already configured let's click on that and sites are a nice way of obviously providing a granular management container for a particular group of switches and you can make it as granular as you like it could be oxford street east floor one for instance so i've got two groups here oxford street east and oxford street west and within each of those there's a switch so we've got switch one in east and switch two in west and create a new site is very easy i just click on the tab and you just enter the various site details including the postcode or zip and it will drop the pin on the map for you like so so i just click down on that and if i wanted to move devices from one to another i just drop and drag so very very easy to do so that's sites let's go back upper upper layer and let's look at labels so the nice thing about labels is you can actually assign a label to a switch or a group of switches that have common characteristics for instance here i've got two labels one engineering and one uh, one sales one called sales and i've assigned a switch to each of those labels so if you can imagine we've got maybe 20 switches supporting the engineering department so if i'm typing engineering and i don't know where they are and what they're called but i know you know they're in they're, they're in the network somewhere and of course i've only configured one label for one switch but if i hover over that particular label it pulls up all this rich info so i'll get it back uh 
pulls up this rich information and it's also got some options down the bottom now. I can configure the switch or I can do a network check, look at the events, etc. just by hitting, uh, selecting that particular tile. And it will take me directly into the configuration option for that particular function. So very, very flexible and a good way of actually putting some granularity down into your uh, infrastructure to get the right selection. Let's go back to our top level map. And that was labels. So from the overview map, if I hovered over a particular site, it gives me some high level insights and information relating to that site. And if I want to get drilled down on anything in particular, I just go over here and then go to that particular site. So let's go to Oxford Street East. And you can see at the top level bar here, I've got some a wealth of tabs that I can drill down on site health, summary of the site, Wi-Fi if I'm using it, and the integration to the WAN, AI insights, topology and a floor plan, should I have loaded a floor plan in and dropped my devices overlaid on top. But let's have a look at the topology as an example from this tab. So we're in Oxford Street East, that's the site, and we're in Manage Overview. Let's click on that. And you can see here, I've got one switch. It's connecting to a top of rack device, egress. And it gives us high level information about that switch. On this tab here, if I hover over on that switch and click VLANs, for instance, it will give me all the VLANs configured on that particular switch. So we've got uh, 10 to 20 plus a def default VLAN on that. So that was what all I wanted to show regarding the information per site and the topology through, for instance, and the VLANs that are configured on that switch just by clicking a few, few tabs. Let's navigate to the top level map, map again. Here we are. And the map should come up now. So let's go now to analyze. And you can see on the left here, we've got four topics under analyze, alerts and events, audit trail, tools and reports. So let's go to the top of the list, alerts and events. And what we'll find when we go into alerts and events, it captures all the alerting and events in a one single pane. So you can actually find out exactly what's going on the infrastructure at any one given time. And this is the tabular format. You can see we've got four buckets at the top, critical, major, minor, and warning. We've got 13 major events there. And we could absorb it this way, or alternatively, we could go into the summary and look at it graphically. So we've got alerts by, by type again, and we've also got alerts by severity. And here you can see the the, uh, the buckets of alerts and by severity and we've got 13 major alerts and if we click on that bar it will take us straight into those unacknowledged alerts on the system and you can also view of course the uh, the acknowledged alerts as well so that's alerts and events and let's go to the audit trail the audit trail is exactly that it will tell you who's logged on where they've logged on and what have they done and what type of description narrative on the side here. So you can see that I've been logging on, I've done a bit of configuration and on the side here, there's the three little dots. If we click on those, we can get the, the appropriate, appropriate display that we like. So that's the audit trail. And the next one up is tools. Now tools for themes under tools. The first one is network checks, so we can do some diagnostics. We have to select the device type, and there's only a switch there. So then we've got our sources, which is our switches themselves, and we can select one of those. And then we can run our tests, and we've got two tests. We can run a ping test or a trace route. So they're, they're very good to do. So 
The next one is device check. Now here we've got the same layout. We've got the switch is the device type. We need to select our sources. And then we've got a little tab here that will give us the test that we wish to run. And there's four cable tests, an interface bounce, a PoE bounce, and a chassis locate. The chassis locate is the blue beacon turning on or flashing. That's the options. And to help administrators and network personnel to find the appropriate piece of hardware in a rack. And the next one along is commands. So the commands that we can run, let's click on that commands. So again, we go through the device type again and the available devices, we select one and we've got some categories that we can, we can run. And if we select all categories, at the moment, there's only two commands. This is a central release 2.5.5, but coming in 2.5.6, which is expected around September 2022, which we're now in September. So the new next release is around the corner. We're going to get more commands for you to run, and that will be expanded in future releases as well. So that is commands. And the next last one on the list is console. There may be requirements just to log on to a particular switch and run some commands from the console itself. So you can do that from this panel here. And last in this section is reports. So there's going to be obviously an, an, an a separate demo for this that you can you can actually get some more information. But just at the high level, you can actually create your own reports and there's multiple categories and multiple different report types. So you can create and then you can schedule your reports at time of day and on a particular day. And that's how man we manage them. And then of course you can browse through the reports um, in, in, the, in the event tree. Okay, let's go back to our topology map. And the last one we haven't directly actually talked about, but we've been using this as we've been going into our group. So remember I mentioned we can navigate to the various groups from here, uh, edge switches. And this is under main, maintain. We naturally drop down into maintain and organizations when we select a group. So this is the main tile under maintain. We've got that familiar structure, groups, sites, and labels underneath maintain. And also we've got the option of updating our firmware here as well, which is part of another demo. So do drop in and take a good look at that. Let's go back to our topology map again. Well, that's all I had for you today in this uh, overview of Demo Central to give you a feel of how to navigate around the various menus. Obviously, I haven't covered everything on the panels here. Some of these topics you will find covered in much more detail in the other demos. So do tune into those and take a good look. That Well, that's all for me. Bye for now.